Okay, so I was playing with some junk mail. Just, and, you know, doing my little flippy flaps. And I made this out of an envelope. So I've got this pocket here. And I put a tab here to flip that up. And I have a pocket here. And then I just left this to be pretty. And then I have the pocket here. And also, I could either glue this onto a page or if I keep this on here, well, now I can't because <laughs> I, uh, let's see, if I put it on a page like this on the other side, then it should open, but no, I'll probably have to glue it onto a page. But if I hadn't put the tab there, I could have made it a flip out on a page. So I don't have the same exact envelope though. So we will try to do something sim something similar. But then I just found also this envelope. This is where my mortgage statement comes in. And I can do my long flap on top and have a window envelope here. I have obviously some patchwork to do because there's some, it got ripped when it got open. Um, but that's all right, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, Let's see, and so I'll need to glue that down, I think. But, so I like this idea too, with the window. I'll do that in a minute. So this envelope will be easy to show you how I just did that. It would work with like this small window. It can work, because you just fold your flap down like that. And then you have your window in here, which is cool. So I'm gonna do that one. Oh, actually I thought that one was gonna to be too long. This one also can work. Okay, I thought that this one was gonna to be too too top too um, long to do it. And now I'm seeing it might actually work. Okay, so let's just pick one of these. Let's pick this one. So the hard part then, well no, if this is open it's not a hard part. So I'm gonna cut right down here on the front of the envelope where I have my window and then I'm going to figure out exactly what I want to do with my yeah that'll work all right so my top one I need since this comes down at an angle like that I'm going to make that one also go at an angle and then I'm going to come in a little bit so that there's some room. I asked them to turn off that alarm. Also, my laundry's going. It's a lot of noise right now, but I really wanted to show you this because I was really excited that I was, I don't know, I just, for some reason I just really like these jeweler's envelopes with a really long flap on top. And, and I'm making a super solid mess of things right this minute. Can't cut a straight line to save my life. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get that undone and I can re-glue it afterwards because I want a straight line more than I want that to be glued on there. <laughs> I just really, really want a straight line. Let's see. All right, if I had a little steam, this would help. So I'm opening up my envelope because I can't seem to get a straight line and it's really getting on my nerves. So. I want a straight line. That might help if I go down like that. I don't want to go past there. It just was just looking all kinds of ratty. I did not like that. And now I can do that here on this one. So I can lift this and I can see I, I want a little bit of a I want to be able to get into that pocket. So let's see, that's about that far, but I don't want to go where it's plastic. That's the important part probably. So I'm going to start about here where my crease is on the end of there. That's how I get a straight line. This line's not going to be straight, but you know, yeah, take what you can get sometimes. There we go. So now we look like we have a bare midriff in our envelope and we'll be able to put these back together like that. So 
Well, I won't want to cover that up, so I'm not going to put a pocket here because that would just cover the window up, and that would not make sense. So that will be my bottom pocket, and then this is my top, and I'm not going to worry too much. Well, no, I'm going to, when I collage on it, I'll fix that. I will fix it. Yes, I will. All right, I'm going to kind of fix it right now. Let's see. I'm going to put something right there. I think I'll just cut that. Put that down there. This, I believe, is Louise Heinzel's uh, dragonfly kit that I'm using right now. Just some butterflies, too. Oh, no, that's a dragonfly. I had it upside down. Oh yeah, that's a moth or butterfly. There's butterflies too. Yeah, I was right, there's butterflies too. <laughs> um, oh, I need to go further. I need to go here with this. That's what I'm trying to do. But I kinda want also to go here with this, so going to use that piece there and this piece over here. All right. Um, I obviously thought this out, thought this through beforehand, obviously, right? Has my head been in the way? I don't know. I feel really close. That's all I know. So anything you want to do on the inside, you want to do while it's still open. So that's also one of the benefits of opening the whole envelope. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do move my scissors out of the way would be nice. And hope that's fairly straight. And I'm going to do that. Now, even when there's not a tag in there, there'll be something pretty in there. And just trim that off. Probably don't need to, but I'm gonna. I'm going to. And I think I'm gonna put something across here too. So I really then don't have to do that because this all goes all the way over. I just need something. Who does she use? I think she uses colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece to go across there. That's what we're going to do. I'm making it a little bit bigger because I can cut it off after. Cut it off on the end where I need it or fold it over or whatever. So, this is going to go doesn't matter. No. I also need to make sure I don't go over where I am with this. So make sure I do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm making it way more. You can just keep the black there. The black, whatever your security envelope stuff is, Fine, that's not a big deal. If I can fold this over, I can get a little bit of strength there with that. There. With that little piece. Is, uh, yeah, it's not doing what I want. There. I just needed that to be, you know, because I cut my envelope. I cut this side, and so that messed me up. But I don't know any other way to do it, so that's a way to do it. So now we have a pretty, pretty little belly showing. And what? What's next? Probably want to collage on here some, and collage up here, and then this. I'm trying to think um, how I want to do this part, cause. Oh, I need that to go over there. 
All right, first I'm gonna connect all this back together. Cause I might wanna do something weird. I never know what I wanna do. I do weird stuff all the time. And I don't think that's what I wanted to do with that, but oh well. And then I'm not gonna use that as a pocket. So I'm closing, doing this one different than the last one. And that's okay. I don't want to get glue on this part because um, then I will lose space in my pocket. Um, yeah, because you want you want a nice, good size pocket here, right? And then this pocket here, I haven't decided yet. And now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what if I go? Oh, I could have had that be the outside. Maybe next time, make that be the outside pocket. Some of these days, right now. It is the down here pocket. Okay. And then this. Yeah, I, I like to complicate things apparently. Okay, I will figure out an easier way at some point. It just won't be right now. Um, and now, what I think I might do. Yeah, I am. I'm going to cut. Am I going to cut? I might use my tear ruler because I don't know about you, but I tend to get a straighter line with a tear ruler than with some other things. Let's see, it might have been easier to do this before, but oh well. Hold on. Don't mind me. Can I? Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna use the little ones. I'm trying to line it up a little bit. So this didn't work either. How am I supposed to do this? Okay. I need long fingers. That's what I need. We're gonna figure this out. You and me, we're figuring it out. So, when you're gonna get under somewhere so that you can do a tear roller and you don't have long fingers, this may or may not work. Probably won't work. So, also, you know what will help? If I don't need this to be closed, then that means I can open it. The elephant floating up upstairs. There we go. That helped. Now, why did it? See, that would have been helpful to know that I was going to do that before. Okay. Because I'm going to have one. Let's see. That one's going to cover that. I'm going to have a pocket on this side, and I'm going to have a pocket on this side, is what I'm thinking. That's why I did that. I know you're thinking, what up? But I'm thinking pretty much. And these are gonna work nicely for some of my my bits that I have here. Let's see. See, that's why I chose that color. So I think I want that on this side, maybe here. Actually, put this over here. Okay, I'm gonna glue that on there. I don't need to use my art glitter glue, but I don't know. I don't get as sticky using art glitter glue as I do a glue stick, so sometimes it makes sense. <laughs> this and I can go ahead and trim this off. I wish I knew a way to be able to help people get digitals that could that don't have printer. The only way I can think of is hmm I'm not sure about this up here is that you know, whoever would be willing to do, get, do the digitals, they'd have to buy the digitals, and the person wanting the digitals would have to buy the digitals. And then the person wanting the digitals would also pay for shipping and the paper and printer and a little fee for, for getting them printed. But eventually it'd be just cheaper just to buy a printer, I would think. 
But if you just had like one kit, you really wanted to use. But I'm telling you though, when you once you once you get that first kit, you're kind of addicted, and you're just like, oh, I love using these digitals. You think they look nice on the on the computer? Wait till you print them out. They look even better printed out. Oh, it's oh, it's, yeah. All right, what can I mix with these? What do I have here? Ooh. Some of these could be fun. Oh, that's cute. That'd be really cute too. Okay, let's see. Some tags and banners, some other things. This one's already made. And I think, I think, did I get them mixed up? That one might be, I think this one's already made. But this one's back to. wanted kind of some more, something a little more on the, hmm, without music on it, I guess we could say. That might work. Sometimes, I don't know how it's going to look, so you know what I do? I just put glue on the place I need to put it. Oh, that black is hurting my eyes. What do you got, you guys? <laughs> is anybody else's eyes is getting hurted? Eyes is getting hurted. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I know. My dryer's going. Washing machine's probably going too. But we just got back from vacation, so guess what happens when you get back from vacation? You do laundry. That's what you do. I want this to be straight, if nothing else. Okay. We're going to see what we're going to get when we uh, cut that off. Let's see what we get. If we can see where we're cutting. actually going to go over a little bit so that I can fold it over so I can get a, a little bit more um oh yeah okay why I didn't cut that off first I don't know that would have made more sense would have been out of my way and then I wouldn't have had to try to trim it off there that's okay I'm going to lose his backside but just 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 tail end of him like literally Literally the tail. So that will give me a little strength to my side pocket here. Now I want to decide if I want to do something to cover up here. I only need that little bit because that green's fine. I could do another piece of the green. Right? Okay. There's something is weird about this. I guess we're okay. There. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I know what I want to do. This might help. I want around this. I want around this because this is the um, and I also want around this. And I want to round that. So that's my side pocket here. And a little something up here. That might be good. Just a little. Just a little piece like that. Just to. Um, now I made it too short. Because <laughs> that's apparently what I do. nice. I like that. Okay, let's stick that up there. That covers a multitude of not the nicest looking stuff. <laughs> oh, is my head all, is my hair all in there? I think my hair did get lighter in the sun. The, um, well, obviously not the white part, but the, um, the dark part. So now, oh my goodness, my head keeps hitting that. Now, I can dye my hair and the dark part, the darker part, will also get some color on it. And by color, I mean like pink or purple or teal, depending on what color I feel like doing. None of that boring brown stuff. So, combining kit here, please use some duct tape there, that's fun. So, got those little damselfly thingies. 
and a flower and this, which kind of goes with that there, which is good. And we put that in there. And I will make this a pocket. What will I use for it? I don't know. What should I use for it? This banner seems like a nice little size. What if we do a banner on it? I would just need to I need to find some neutrals to put on here too. Let me look through Artie Mays' stuff. Because I have all her colors. All her patterns, color, her. I got all of them. I did all the colors. All of them. Couldn't help myself. Let's see. That one's got green. Whoops. Um, ooh, that's got some yellow, those flowers. That's Rachel. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Yep, I cut things up. It's what I do. Oh, here we go. There's a color. That color will work. And what else have we got? Is that the best you've got? Oh, Shell, did I tell you? My aunt really loves your your uh, 20s butterfly fairy kit. She absolutely loved it. I showed it to her. Um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Oh, I found more junk mail. That's what I couldn't find before. Hmm, it's kind of annoying. Now I found it. Alright, trying to find. Alright, some of these I printed half size so that I have smaller prints. These are just fun to collage with. And then, um, I did most of them on like resume paper, but still 24 pound. But it's still, ooh, that's kind of fun. It's not quite right. Let's see. Look, ooh! Do we have, what else do we have? These are the purples and reds. So, um, actually, that's not what I want. I want more of the oranges and yellows and blues, or greens, maybe. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. I'm gonna take as long as I'm gonna take. Cause that's the way it is when you art. You don't always know what you're gonna need right at the beginning. Cause that's the creative process. So people need to stop giving Rachel a hard time about it. Cause Rachel's awesome. And I like watching her. Do not take my Rachel away. Alright, actually this might be a nice, a nice neutral to use on this, actually. I think I need a little bit of neutral, don't I? We've got a lot going on here. But it's got like the greens and the teals and some orange in there, so I know I'm a little bit wrinkled. All right, so I'm gonna do like I did before. I'm just gonna glue. I don't need to glue. I can glue, start gluing up here, huh? And So, I kind of want to, okay, well, let's see what happens. I'm coming all the way down here because I'm going to rip it a little. So, let's see what I can do. First, I'm going to cut off all this excess. for a smooth. And then I was thinking, whoops, no, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't think. There we go. Just kind of have that be more organic looking there. Maybe, 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 maybe. How far did I go? That's good. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Move that the rest of the way down. And I'm not going to glue this down until I have what I want in here because it's just easier. Okay, so that fits perfectly there. Hmm. Well, why not? Let's, all right. 
I'm going to make it a banner pocket because that could still be fun, right? Then whatever tag you stick under there is still going to show. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so. Some of this idea probably came a little bit from... Uh, oh, I got to show you the pocket that Stephanie Coffee Paper Scissors did because it's a cool pocket. It does a flip, it's a side pocket, she flips it down. I loved it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna drop stuff because that's fun. So cutting out the bottom part of this. There we go. So that's our little pocket here, which is also a banner. Can also be used. Maybe I'll just do it at the top and do it as a tuck spot. We'll see. I wanted to hold things in though. So, you know, I might just, um, I don't know, I might just tack down those two bits. That way it will still go in. That's probably what I'll do. All right. When I'm, oh, I was going to do some inking before I, before I glue it all down. I like the ink lightly. I like it more as just a a border kind of. I'm not necessarily aging it when I do it. Sometimes I'm just hiding white. I just try to do light, lay with with it, I guess. I'll go ahead and do it here. Now if I'm gonna cover it, I don't worry about it as much. I'm just like just go everywhere. Just getting the white out basically. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these edges just so they're not too white. When I put my, in case I don't come up to the edges, basically. But anyway, you get the gist of this very complicated <laughs> pocket thingy that I'm doing with my, uh, with the jeweler's envelope. I'm gonna go to about there, there. Because I don't want stuff falling out. So there's a side pocket. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I can do that. And then we have this pocket here, which I will put this is a little short, but that's okay. I'll just I like to mix and match my um whatchamacallums. What do you call them? Kits. I like to mix and match kits. That's what I'm trying to say. That I made it a little too short, but that's okay. Um, it is this one that I need to cut on. Hey, if you have small spaces like that you need to fill and you've got something with lines on it, it makes it easier to figure it out. <laughs> so I could, um, which side do I want? Oh, I want, oh wait, do I want that side? Or do I want the little lines? I think I want the little lines. Which I think is what I wanted in the first place, but then I turned it over and got all confused. So what did you guys do while I was gone? I mean, some of you I know are still catching up on videos, watching videos, because you've been busy. Whether you've been out of town or life has just gotten busy. Um... Yeah, um, ooh, I just hit you, I'm sorry. Are we still, we don't want to be looking at my belly, that's no fun. Oh, this one want. A little bit of neutral would be nice. So I think what I want to do is, I'm going, oh, that comes up. Wait, did I already glue this? Yes, and that, sh put that on the wrong side, hold on. gonna rip it and I'm just gonna glue it back up there because I don't want it showing through my window and I did it too far up but that's okay there we go I was like what why is that there all right I think I want I want I want I want I want I want a lot don't I Right, 
Where's my tear ruler? That's what I want. This is getting to be very long just because it takes so long to find stuff, but I was gonna, I don't know, I said I would combine the two videos, but that might not be the smartest idea in the world. That seems to be working somewhat to some degree. And then, I just kind of wanna, I, don't, I just wanna, I know you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Who knows what I'm doing? Okay, let's, I'm gonna do this and then I'll cut it off and figure out what I'm doing. So, I put my glue on, and then I put my paper on. This is already made, it's really nice. And then I cut off my excess what I don't need, just, just winging it, you know, I, might, I hope I didn't just cut that, uh, might have, might have just cut that, let me just make sure, it, oops, too far, make sure it's gonna, because I don't necessarily like when it, see that, that yellow doesn't look quite right, because this thing in the middle, but oh well. It is going to be that way. You don't need perfection. They're they're fine. It's cream. I mean, why am I gonna fuss about the color cream? Apparently, that's what I do. I fuss. I fuss and I fuss and I fuss. But that, on the other hand, would be really cute in here as a tag. Let me just gotta turn it into a tag. And that was too short. But when I put it on say one of these, um, I could even just, oh, let's see, what do I want to do, I like this orangey bit, And then we have the painty bit in the back and a little bit of collage. Kind of like that. I'll do that. And then I'll put coffee dyed paper or, or I know what I'll put on the back. You know what I'm going to put on the back? Have you figured it out? Do you know? You don't know. I think you know. I may have to make this shorter anyway. So let me go ahead and... Hmm. It's just so straight and perfect, isn't it? It's just a little too straight and perfect, isn't it? Why not? Let's just ruin our scissors and um, I think I will also round my, well, if I can find my corners all around them. Nope, can't find my corners. Moved my corners all over the place, didn't I? And then I will do a little bit of this. Got my coffee dyed, my coffee archival ink. For doing this, archival ink I like, I guess, because, you know, it's going to stay. What is that? Oh, I think somebody's walking upstairs. I thought we were having a, I don't know, something. So let's get him on there, them, there's a butterfly and a dragonfly, so I can use the plural. And just kind of offset that a little, oh the dryer stopped, thank you. Okay, now where was I putting this in here? So they're only going to partially show, but that's okay, and like I said, I have to put this down. To what? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. That's why I wasn't worried about that paper that wasn't going all the way to the edge because I kind of knew I'd have to put it down some. There, that should fit. I hope. There, that fits. 
I mean, this just shows part of the dragonfly, but that's okay. Why'd you close? Why'd you do that? All right, uh, the next video I will do another version of this because this is gonna be a super long video. I don't know, unless I just put them up a little bit at a time. Anyway, if my videos are too long, you can just stop them and come back. You can watch them at double time. Um, yeah, they're as long as they're going to be. Alright, I know I could just leave that to the lines on the back, but I'm not a big fan of that, so. Did you guess that I was going to back it with the, uh, ledger paper? Then you were right. Alright. Let's see. I just need to make things to go in the pockets. That should go pretty quick, right? Yes. Could definitely do something using this that would be cute on the front right um let's see Got some more of these i made these so i could collage on this side but when i want to use this side i still can i could use the lines on the back but i usually would back them i just it makes them a little bit thicker these are really thin index cards um i use distress inks on these so, which one do I like? Oh, I kind of like this one. So, let's see. Do I want to go this way? I don't have a lot of space there, so might as well go that way and cut it off right about here. Just, you know, eyeball it right on that side of that water, of that mark. And then I've got this for a mini tag. And I'm not sure what I'll do with this yet. Don't I'm gonna round those in a minute. Okay. Where are all of our okay? Oh, I was thinking also. Isn't that cute? Where's my pocket? Okay. Um da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Yeah, I could use one of those for the side pocket, but that's all right. Um, I don't want to, oh, here, smaller bits, smaller bits, smaller bits, smaller bits. Oh, good. All right, I'm going to cut this out. I went ahead and tore out one of my German pages from the German book I just got. And, let's see, looks up for, I want this on this side, because that's the side that sticks out right in my pocket. Although, it looks crooked. It's bugging me. <laughs> I hate when I don't get things on straight. <laughs> don't mind me. Alright, I'm going to fix it. As my journal card gets smaller and smaller, I just want to figure out, do I want it to be in like this? Or do I want it to be? Now it's like really small. Or I could use it on the inside, actually. Actually, I might go ahead and put it on this side. Because I could put a little tab or something. Once I find what I want to use. So I'm going to leave this open over here. So I can put a tab under it. But the rest I'm going to glue. sure where I want to put my tab so I'm just kind of gluing most of it on and leaving some space there so that I can tuck something tuck a little a label I think I want to tuck a label under there I just don't know where my labels are right this second and there he fits perfectly in there okay good I still want to do something up here though don't I and then, yeah, he can still go in there. I'm just going to put him on something. What am I going to put him on? It's really close to that color, kind of. Real precise measure in here. And I was kind of willing to do that because I think because I already have the other bits that are ripped, I thought I'd just rip this some just for fun, just ripping it, ripping it all up. Do I have a yellowy one here? For, oh, here we go. 
That'll work nicely for the back side to color on. To color on. Yeah, you could color. To write on is what I was thinking, but coloring can work too. Alright. I'm going to lose some of this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What I might do. I kind of like that there's a little yellow on each side, so let's just go ahead and stick this under here. Just to cover my lines. And then a little bit on the top. Which I might just go ahead and cover that whole top bit because, well, for one, because I can. Something must just happen with Joel's game. <laughs> Sounds like a young Homer back there. Alright, I'm going to let glue this thing on and then I'll cut all my edges off. This may have to go in sideways, that's okay. And then I'll have a little tag that I can use elsewhere. All right, I know I didn't cut any of my paper straight. This, oh my goodness, glue, go on. So I'm gonna cut this off here. I don't know why I'm doing it backwards, but I am, because that's just, how I've been using my thing today for some reason. Oh my goodness, come out, come out, come out. Oh, a quarter inch is what I've been using. There, that's kind of cute. Still got some yellow in there, we got the bet. She says, and then she's like, what, what, what? A little off here redo my corners. Uh, good quarter of an inch. For a second I was like, ah, did I just do the half an inch? And it might fit this way. Does it fit this way? Not quite. So yeah, I was like thinking he might have to go this way. But still cute like that because the flowers could go either direction and you can't tell what that stick looking thing is. So, um, And that paper is pretty perfect with the colors, huh? It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited that Louise and I have similar color things that we do. He could go out like that too, which is still cute. But then there's them and them. So I might just do it like that. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of border with my coffee. Just a little, just a going on the edges as much as possible. I don't want it coming in a lot. Just to get a little bit of a border. And since I have those little brown dots in there, it might be kind of nice to do that here too. I'm not really going in a lot. Well, my sponge could stay under a place, from that. Okay. All right, I like it. And then like that. So there we go. We have our junk mail envelope that we've turned into a jeweler's envelope kind of and we have a little side pocket here and a side pocket banner thing here and a pocket here that we could see through and I was still gonna do something here wasn't I what I might do is nope I don't want to use that I don't know what I want to use I'll figure something out I'm not gonna make you guys watch me all day all day, all night, all day, and all night, all day, all night. We could be here all day and night. We could. There. That's kind of nice. That's from Rachel's kit. Covers up that dragonfly a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I still have my corner piece. That's okay. There's, you'll see what I mean after I put this on. Because <laughs> I wanted that to connect there, so I still have this corner over here, which could use a little, a little something to finish it off. What should it be? 
Might be a label. I don't know. Go over here. See the butterfly. Maybe just a tiny bit of blue. Just for, just kind of want to cover up that corner there. Huh. Now, it just, it ends right there. I'm not loving that. So, what I'm going to do is weird things. things sticking to my fingers and whatnot and just kind of just kind of I don't know might not like that either especially since it's exactly the same what would you do nothing you would do nothing it's because you're smart you're too smart for me I'm not so smart hmm. I like that flower all right, I can always reprint these. <laughs> I'm putting the flower on there. I want it to go more at an angle like that. All right, there we go. Just random. Random flowers. You don't stick it on your glue to ink it. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> Maybe it'll become a thing. Right? Now I want to like finish this corner off, don't I? You know it. You know I do because I'm weird like that. Gosh, what is my problem? I don't know that I want that, but let's see. Because it's just a little bit too, too orange, and then too white over here. But despite its oranginess, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. And let's ink the right side, the correct side. And let's do it. Why not? Add some of my ink in there, it's a little more orangey. So, I don't know, orange and orange go together regardless, right? My goodness, why? Do you guys have that problem where your glue just doesn't want to do for you? Uh, super busy, <laughs> happy busy. Oh well, it is still fun idea. So, you don't have to use a window envelope. You don't have to get it all, be all difficult as I made it. Where's the other one? I don't know. I'll probably show it in the other video and where did it go? Seriously people, I've lost it. That's not it. That's well anyway, I showed you at the beginning of the video, so you've seen it. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, y'all have a delightful day. I might do another one of these, but they take like an hour. But you do get like three tags and a fun flippy envelope. And then you can put this on your journal page. You can um, glue it like this so you have a side pocket or glue it like this so you have a top pocket or just glue the side and the bottom on either side and have a tuck. And you know, it's not super bulky because it's already got all its tags in there. So yeah, I like it. Do you like it? Using an envelope, a junk mail envelope to make a, uh, I guess it's called a jeweler's envelope with a long flap. I mean, mine's longer than a jeweler's envelope would be, but I don't know. I'm just doing what I want to do. Have a delightful day, everybody. Love you.